He just did that sound effect with his voice. It is so, that is so lame. <laughs> Do it again. Talking with sound effects. <laughs> Guys, we are here. Wicked, wicked, wicked. DJ Dan. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I think he used to actually have a DJ What's job. Up? Got Jake Webb in the house. What's going on? And we're gonna double check my first access, the rail. I had to move my sight a little bit more to the left to get some more adjustment out of that. You saw that on video. Oh, Elk burger. How far did you shoot that out from, Josh, so everyone on the internet can judge you? 826 <laughs> yards. With what caliber? Uh, 338 Lapua. That'll work. Don't take a bite. <laughs> Suppressed, too. Nothing oh, ran. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I was just like, hey, they're all still kind of standing there. This is Tim Connor learning how to work on his bow. <gasps> and Josh is not allowed to touch the bow. He can tell you, he can talk to you, but your muscles, your dexterity, you have to get the reps. Oh, How's it feel? Feels good. What's the name of this vice? OMP Versa Cradle. OMP Versa Cradle, Omni, super fast vice. Wide limb. Wide limb. Pretty important if you're a Matthews guy, wouldn't you agree? Pff, I don't ask me, ask Josh, man. Pretty dope. All right, let's slap a level here first. Yeah. Proprietary, exclusive to Josh Jones. And where is a level? Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Listen to that sound. That is very nice, Josh. Thank you. There you go. Okay. We like it? Yeah, now you need to get a level on your site. Is this the first gen or a second gen? That looks gen like two. the newest. Gen 2. Yeah. A Gen 2 from Hamski. And this goes here? Well, that's the trickery part where Josh is going to chime in. Yeah, touch, just any, anything flat, right where you were. And you can face it the other way so it's closer to your bubble. So when you're looking at it, you look yes. at that one. Yes. Phil, Tim, you're working on your bow. Feels good. You're a technical guy. You like technical editing, technical golf, technical archery. Okay, so we're thinking that's not on. Is that the deal? Because we're level here? Yeah, that would be correct. Who the f this up. <laughs> well, I do wonder if that came apart, when it, if that moved when it came apart. I bet but, you something just got bumped or whatever. So now all you gotta do is loosen that screw a little bit and then twist that one right there until it plums up. Your rail's off, Josh? His rail's off, 100%. So Josh, just, I mean, I know that you're busy right now, but like, <laughs> black gold, black gold kind of made a good way to adjust first rail. How do you do that on all the other manufacturers? Big old sloppy hole, kind of like a hot dog going on a hallway. You just move it to where it touches whatever side you want to touch. Basically, this guy's oblong and that guy's perfectly circular. So when you loosen that on other sites, you just move it back and forth. This actually has a drive system in it. So when you loosen that screw, you can actually twist this and it will slowly move it back and forth. So you can make a really tiny finite adjustment. So where you run into a situation where you are slightly barely off at 80 yards from where you are at 20, you can actually bump your rail a little bit instead of having to try to find the happy medium between the site and the rest. So Does that make you happy system. to know you were off? Bump no. that screw just a little bit. So back this out? Yeah, just a little bit. I'm not sure why you guys immediately started to jump on me like I was, you know, not a, a perfect archer or just something. A, just, just, okay. Set screw. Ooh. Ooh. That Ooh. changed something. Went to the left. You went to the left. Counterclockwise. This matches this. Matches this. And you should be on a straight line when you shoot down range. And okay. then, where does the guy get this? This. And this, besides elkshape.com. Where's the other website? I think you would go to podiumarcher.com for all your archery needs. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like that. Now on the bow build that we did here, the one that I called and interrupted while you guys were doing his, yeah. bow. okay, that one. You did something you never done before for me personally, which I kind of like figured maybe you are rooting for Tim. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. You put that bow in your little special that bow was thing. something I was trying. And you went completely perpendicular to the ground. Uh huh and checked the third axis that way at uh -huh. full draw with uh -huh. no hand torque, uh -huh. with no human influence. Uh -huh. And it was set, and you've never done that for me. Uh, I just started doing that. You think it's legit? I haven't been able to test it yet, but it made sense. I mean, the bow's pulled back, there's no influence in it. Looking at a bubble that's attached to the riser, you move that to where it reads level and square, and then you should be able to move the other. So you just made that up? You, you, it wasn't something that you've, been, you've known about for years? Nope. Just holding, nope. holding back? No. Nope. nope, just made sense. Just checking. See where your loyal loyalty lies. <laughs> That's all I'm checking. So we try. Basically trying to get my bow double tuned so we can go outside, shoot some fresh releases for you guys. And Dan and I and Jake, we're all going to uh Oh yeah, we're gonna go pay Wayne Endicott a visit who owns the bow rack. 
Him and Josh are rivals. They hate each other. Just joking. <laughs> Josh Jones is actually coming down with us. We're gonna go do Elk Shape Camp in Oregon, in Camhain country, and we're gonna hang out with Wayne Indicott at the bow rack. The dude's a living legend. And so I wanna make sure my bow's good for that because we're gonna rip some arrows at the famous farm. And yeah, I just wanna get my bow ready. Josh and Wayne so are I can... wrestle in a pit. <laughs> Josh and Wayne are gonna mud wrestle. The, it has a heart blue? attack. Blue? Yeah, blue. blue. Yeah, what is that? What blue. are they wrestling in? No, it's not mud. It's like it's like lube or something. Oh yeah, it was blue. KY? It's KY. It's KY wrestling. <laughs> you and Wayne are gonna KY You're my wrestle. Blue. What? Don't put that on there. Anyway, so we're gonna bring you along. Basically, just an ABT day, trying to get this bow dialed in. This brand new purple tack driver. Take that, Dad. Hopefully, you saw the build. If not, we'll link it right here. And you know the deal. This year is TDD. <laughs> Josh already placed his chips on me. He said Vegas odds are good in my favor. Yeah, man. You got anything to say to that, Dan? I love today's video. It's like, yeah, Jake beat Dan. <laughs> yeah, actually, we actually tied. I just said he won to make him feel good. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. Did Guys, you see that, Josh? They said that he beat me, and then you asked him to score. We, he's like, oh, actually, yeah, we, did, we did tie. <laughs> Like, well, you ought to have at least like five points, right? Yeah, really got five points. <laughs> got a handicap. My grip is significantly changed. Change. That's all because of Josh. I make a little difference, did it? And Jake, tell them about your fletchings. Tell them about why they're better than what Josh recommends. They're they're <laughs> just grouping good. So uh, Josh is gonna hate this, but I'm running a wrap on the back and four fletch straight. Woo, son! What Dan? What's the fastest way to fire Josh up? Do the opposite of what he tells you to do. <laughs> Which Tim and Jake are phenomenal at, I gotta say. Would you agree, Josh? Oh, pretty much, yeah. Whatever, man. I'm your mother. <laughs> oh, you say do this? Okay, I'll go do that. They're they were trending All my children in the nice world. and tight. <laughs> and if I can like make a better shot, just one shot at tack with one of those arrows and beat Josh, I'll be happy. The whole thing is if you're gonna disagree, you gotta bring some heat. Yeah. You gotta back it up. You gotta back it up. <laughs> so what do you want? What do I want? A bow belt. Matthews. VX3, 29. V3X? V3X, yeah. How tall are you? 5'7". How much do you weigh? 155 on a good day. What belt are you in jiu-jitsu? Blue belt. Hey Jake, what belt are you? I'm a white belt. Hmm, you want your ass whooped? <laughs> we could roll, I'm not scared. It doesn't matter what belt you are. I roll with black belts. You do? Yeah. Do you roll with Sarah? <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> So covering a couple of little items we did here on uh, Josh's build. One, we were able to get a dovetail that does fit in the uh, in the gherkin there in the 29. Nice good fit him in. It wasn't sloppy at all. Lined right up. Everything worked out really well. Had to move the uh, full adjustment windages all the way over to the right to allow enough room to slide it in. And then if you look at the windage there, we still had a pretty good amount of room to get our left to right sided in. So nothing additional needed at that point. We did get it sided in at 20 here. The two piece uh, low pro quiver, cause I like how small and light it is. And I did add a quiver spacer to make sure this clears. And if you look at it now, it just barely clears. And we shot it a bunch of times and it stayed back over in that vicinity. So that's a good fit of it. I did change out the stock cord here, trying to help eliminate some of the stretch issues we've had with these. Cause this guy tends to stretch a little bit after you shoot it. So I put a uh, BC wise number 24 rope in there, which is the same thing that we use for a loop. Was trying to make it pretty, so I did use some of the nylon 400 in yellow on there. Put our own custom podium strings on there. Used the ham ski limb bracket. And of course, the good old faithful reliable limb legs for a nice sweet shooting machine. And then after he started shooting a little bit, we decided to take a half inch out of it because it looked a little long. The fitment was much better after that point. Steady, a lot much better. All in all, pretty sweet machine at uh, 26 and a half inch draw length. He's little. <laughs> Do you think that Matthews runs a little long? Yep. Most of the stuff we've measured is about three eighths long, which is an eighth past acceptable number or whatnot. I think they, they say you can be out a quarter, somewhere in that vicinity. Yeah, you should probably take a half inch out of it realistically. I don't know if I would try to get it out with strings and cables because your poundage is going to get way off if you do that. You're probably safer just to take a half inch out of it. And then if it still feels a little short at that point, then you could probably just put a little twist into your cables or take a little twist out of your string to get that extra eighth or so. It runs about three eighths long on most of what we've measured in the past two years. I'm starting close because I moved my first, so I had to kind of reset. So I'm redialing in my 20. Those are pretty good. That's takedown Dan worthy. Don't you think? Guys, comment below if you ever want to see Dan shoot Vegas. Do you think we could ever get him to shoot Vegas? Yeah. Really? Oh, we good? Yeah. Okay, so the majority is here. So I'll move my sight down and a little bit left. 